Hi, welcome to the tutorial. We've um, explained everything in the previous tutorial how to change icons and colors. So we have now not a dark menu but a white one. And this time around we're going to in explain to you some information about Aureola Aureola Acres. On Eric Dupont.p there are lots of uh, tutorials and explanations about Aureola, but let's keep it to this distro specifically. I have made three little menus here, which is called Conky Start. This is a Conky by the way. It's giving our information about our system, the uptime, CPU frequency, I'm on VirtualBox, Manufacturers, Oracle and so on. I can upgrade eight packages, so can update, upgrade. And this is the file itself. When, for instance, we have another wallpaper, and I can change the colors from these orange things here or this gray or this thing or there is an error and I can change it. It opens a program, the program you um, chose so that at some point in time you tell the system that you want to uh, open it with Sublime Text, that you want to open it with Genie or anything like that and then it reminds it, it's uh, the MIME apps uh, applications uh, configuration file that's on your system that it says, okay, if they click this, I will open Sublime Text. Okay, so that's one thing. We can edit this file. Maybe I should show you as well. Um, don't believe what you're told. Test it out. So here everything starts. Conky text, this is the text. The big block here is the text. And we can tell him to say hello. And then we have here a text save if we control s it it's gonna be up where up there somewhere but as you can see it's not possible to see it the image is here in the way so i'm gonna delete it again and move it down here save and let's move this with windows 4 this way and there you are question is now where is my hello i don't see it any time soon so it must be here, up here somewhere, and it's not showing. Um, let's type some other stuff. And we see it popping up here. So SDF, this is where we're typing here. So there must be a reason why it's not showing, and you have to figure it out why. So this hello is not shown. Maybe due to the image, maybe not. Depends of what you're doing. So anything you uh, want to know so I, like packages upgrades we're talking about that we can check that out control find packages here it is this is the code for the packages upgrade it's going to use a program check updates then pipe it to count it uh, wc count minus l count the lines and it has eight lines to um, to install how do people do these things well actually they just type it in you just take a terminal control alt I have not installed GNOME terminal yet so I'm gonna use the logo here and then control find control F is the uh, control V sorry is a normal approach but this is termite and termite likes to do it with control shift V so this is what he's doing Okay, we don't see anything more, it's it's eight, so we just get rid of those. And the program check updates tells you this program can update to this number. So it's going to count these lines, and if you count well, we see eight lines. So that's all it does. You find out a terminal, you find the term, find the terminal, find the command, copy paste, try it till it works, and then you copy paste in the conkey, and that's all they they all do. It's that simple as that. Give me a cat, proc, CPU info, grab, min i, model name, and so on. It's all the same. Would not be interesting here since we're on VirtualBox. But it's what they do. So these programs can be um, checked out in a terminal first. And if it works, put it, copy paste it in there. Like the DMD code and so on and so on. Sensor programs and so on. Some other things will not work on VirtualBox, which is of course normal. You're not on hardware, you're virtually uh, working, so that's um, 
some of the elements will be blank here. So that's how you change the conky that's working at the moment. Where is the conky that's working at the moment? It's in a file called .config conky. Here you'll find this logo is this logo and here you find all the information you need and the one that's running always is conky conf. If you want a gray conky, which is maybe a good idea to have a gray conky, then you can change this one to this one. Copy pasting can be an, uh, a possibility, but better is just F2. Change this one to this is the original. Okay. And then tell him that the conky gray you wanted to have, that's this one. You tell him that it's no longer gray, it's just the conky conf. Now nothing changes, that's normal that nothing changes. You still have to shut down the conky. So I'm taking my terminal, I'm killing kill all conky, killed, and I just have to type conky, that's all. You can type in minus Q as well to be quiet or put it in the background as well if you want to, if you want to type a bit more. But anyway, just conky and then everything will be started again. You see? So this gray element may be a good idea to have this with this kind of wallpaper. So the conky that's running is in the home folder dot config conky, but there is one level up, two levels up, the home folder of all the conkeys. There are 17 conkeys from here till here. Let's count them. 18, I thought so. We just created a new one, the logo. So 18 conkeys we can use. And the only thing you have to do to change logos, uh, sorry, to change uh, conkeys is to go inside one of those, Control H not the git folder but one of those these are all conkeys and i just want to try out the logo which i just created earlier on by the way we should change our linux mint icon on top you know where to do it you go to configure or you are conky you're in the file on top it says linux mint and then you say no nope, it's arch linux my friend save done quickly done now let's get rid of all this and take another conky, one of those can be used. So there is this logo, of course we need some logos, so we are in the process of creating, finding logos. And let's try it out, so open terminal here. I'm gonna use, now we are looking at the Sakura terminal and some coloring. We install, it's always the same, you go inside a folder that you conky that you choose and you type install. Conky is killed. Do you want to get rid of everything that's inside the conky conky? Yes or no? No is finishes. Yes, everything will be overwritten. You can't get them back. Yes. Start in the conky, you don't see anything. What's happening? Well, it's in here. So this is the conky. That has been started now. It's a uh, more than a little bit transparent kind of icon that you can place over any wallpaper you want. Now we have, of course, two kind of logos. So it's a bit silly, but this is the kind of uh, things you can do. You can go again to Aureola. That's why it's in here with me. So a hidden folder, Aureola. I choose the one I want like for instance cherry and let's see what what can go well with it spotter is also something interesting so if you have spotify you get the, the image of the cd you're playing and the title and the artist and so on let's just take acros again so you see what happens right mouse click open terminal install same procedure it's killing everything you want to overwrite it, yes again. There is a program that needs your authentication, DMI decode. DMI decode is going to find out 
your mother bird name which is in this case a virtual box and oracle and there you have it again but this is not the one for arch labs this is the standard um, installed uh, aureola conky and which is also nice eh? is gray and red but it's this is yellow so it's a bit not that interesting to have uh, mixed together but it's a beautiful color beautiful color, color combination but maybe not interesting for this wallpaper then maybe the last thing and then i stop when you installed Ariola and you said, okay, that's nice. I have these com keys available, 18 of them. I choose whatever I like. At some point in time, I'll tell there is a new com key or I made uh, improvements to the com key or the new color scheme. As you can see here, uh, there are a lot of color screen schemes. So a blue com key, a gray com key for the laptop, a bit smaller, orange and the Polo, which is also kind of bluish. Uh, so all these things are perfected or, or added you can always always start this one get aureola from github to local drive this is an update system so you go to open terminal here and you type in get and that's it enter and it's done of course there are some safety guards so it's going to tell you do you really want to delete everything in the aureola if you have something save there then it's that's not the place to save it because it will be now overwritten so everything in folder dot areola will be deleted are you sure yes and now i have the latest version from github on my system and again the same applies you go to any of these things like the stake skeleton open terminal install slash install enter stopping the conkey yes when the font is not available, in this case it was available, but when the font is not available, he'll tell you and he'll ask you to, to install it. As you can see, there are still programs that I need to uh, install. There is no Dropbox installed, status offline. There's no InSync installed, status offline. There's no Spotify installed, so offline. So these things will not work. Maybe have to figure out the font again to make it a bit smaller to have it available till bottom of my screen but mainly everything looks quite good and it's, it's easy to upgrade it's easy to install and that's Ariola. all right have fun if i did not mention anything there's a completely a chapter on eric dubois.be just about Ariola.